Yo, what's up? Dr. Swole here, MD Bodybuilder, back with another video. Today I'm going to be giving you a full upper lower hypertrophy program. This is a low volume program, so it will be very well suited to beginners or athletes in their first year of training. It'll also apply to people who respond well to low volume training. The upper lower split is a very popular split in science-based bodybuilding and offers a few unique advantages. It's one of my favorite setups and very well suited to four days per week. All right, quick outline for today. We'll start off by introducing the upper lower split and how to set it up. Then we'll talk about the pros and cons of the upper lower split structure. Next, I'll be doing a program walkthrough showing you a full four days per week upper lower low volume program. Lastly, I'll mention some modifications that you can make to the upper lower split to make it better. If you've been getting value from my content, make sure you smash that like button, hit subscribe, and let's get into it. Starting off with an introduction to the upper lower split. The upper lower split is basically where you split up your training across the week into days focused on upper body training and lower body training. Here's a sample training calendar to show you how to set up a four days per week upper lower split. Since on your upper and lower days, you're training different muscle groups, it's really easy to shuffle those workouts around during the week. For example, if you have upper on Tuesday, lower on Thursday, and then upper lower again on the weekend, you can move this lower day onto the Wednesday and you can move this upper day onto the Friday and still get your four days of training done in the week. Because your lower body training is gonna be more fatiguing overall, and a lower body workout can affect your upper body days training the next day, but that doesn't happen as much the other way around. So for example, if you had to, this setup would still work, which is a good option to have, especially if your schedule is unpredictable. However, I typically try to have upper days come before lower days. The other thing is you wanna spread out your training days as much as possible throughout the week to promote recovery. So for example, if you're training four days per week, you're always gonna have two days in the week that come back to back. But if possible, try and spread out those other two days as much as possible. So for example, if you have a setup like this with two days on, two days off, two days on, that would still work but I would prefer trying to spread your days as much as possible. Let's talk about the pros of the upper lower split. First of all, if you're training four or more days per week, the upper lower split allows twice per week frequency for all muscle groups built in. I recommend at least twice per week frequency for a few reasons. First of all, it allows more productive volume. As your volume increases, it helps to have that higher frequency because you can split up your volume and have more productive sets. Even if you're a beginner, it's a good idea to get into twice per week training to start because it helps with mind-muscle connection and technique development. Some aspects of lifting are a skill, so it really helps to have that practice in targeting different muscle groups. The next pro of the upper lower split is that it works well with strength type programming. As you'll see in my program, it's going to be very easy for you to slot in beginner strength type programming into this kind of program. Next, the upper lower split allows you to use antagonist supersets. Antagonist supersets are basically alternating between exercises that involve muscles that are forced to relax while the other muscles are activated. For example, if you superset your bicep training with your tricep training, your biceps are gonna be resting while you're training your triceps and vice versa. This can be a handy training tool to use to save time because while you're training one muscle group, the other muscle group is resting and you can use your rest time for one muscle group to train the other. As long as you're choosing antagonist muscle groups, they shouldn't affect each other's training too much. Lastly, the upper lower split, especially for four days per week, is very flexible. All right, now let's talk about the cons of the upper lower split. First of all, you typically have long upper body days. This is mainly just because you have more muscle groups to train in the upper body than in the lower body. So you might find that your upper days get really long and grueling, or that it's hard to prioritize your upper body if that's your goal. The other issue is that people might find that their biceps, triceps, and delts may be fatigued at the end of their upper body days, and it's hard for them to really focus on them and get a good stimulus. I'll talk about some modifications you can make to address these disadvantages later on. All right, here's our program walkthrough. I'll be sharing the program later for free, so stay till the end and I'll show you how to download it. So here we've got our upper body day one, lower body day one, upper body day two, and lower body day two. You've got your sets and reps here, and the number of sets per workout here so you know how long each session lasts. Lastly, here are your weekly muscle group set volumes. It's a really good idea to get into the habit of counting your weekly set volumes for different muscle groups because it will allow you to track your volume very precisely for different muscle groups and let you make alterations to your program in a very precise way. Ultimately, you wanna be finding the amount of volume that gives you the best progress for each muscle group. And the best way to do that is to keep track of your weekly set volumes and keep track of your progress. So I like to count volume as volume for quads, hamstrings and glutes, which I lump together just for convenience, chest, back, 
side delts, biceps, triceps, and calves. You'll see immediately that this is a very low volume program, which is going to be well suited for beginners. You'll also see that this program slightly favors the lower body. Our upper body days are longer than the lower body days. This is natural for the upper lower split, as we talked about earlier. The four day upper lower split setup works really well to centering our workouts around four of the main lifts, bench press, squat, overhead press, and deadlift. This will work really well with a lot of beginner type strength programming. Okay, so starting off with our upper body day one, we're starting off with a barbell bench press, three sets of five to eight for the chest. Then we've got dumbbell overhead presses, two sets of six to 10, then T-bar rows for the back, three sets of six to 10, and lat pull downs also for the back, two sets of 10 to 15. Then we'll move on to some arm training. We've got barbell curls, three sets of eight to 12 for the biceps, and then easy bar skull crushers for the triceps three sets of 8 to 12. We'll finish off with barbell upright rows for the side delts, four sets of 8 to 12. Moving on to lower body day one, we start off with a squat for the quads, three sets of 5 to 8, then Romanian deadlifts, which I count for glutes and hamstrings, two sets of 6 to 10, then leg press for quads, three sets of 8 to 12, and walking dumbbell lunges, which I count for the glutes and hamstrings, three sets of 8 to 12. Then we've got some single leg calf raises for the calves, three sets of 8 to 12, and hanging leg raises three sets of 8 to 12. I'd recommend adding weight to your hanging leg raises as you get stronger for progressive overload. You'll notice that I like to start off my workout with the toughest movement. This is a good idea for beginners and intermediates because your big movements are going to be the most taxing and you really want to have that focus early on to get the most out of them. Next we've got our second upper body day so starting off with a barbell overhead press two sets of five to eight then incline dumbbell bench pressing, three sets of eight to 12 for the chest. Note that I start one of my upper body days with a horizontal push and the other one with a vertical push. This is personal preference, but often having an overhead press first on some of the days will allow it to progress better. Then moving on to some back training, we've got weighted chin ups, three sets of six to 10, and it doesn't matter which grip you use, and then single arm dumbbell rows. We've got two sets of eight to 12. You'll see that I like alternating my vertical and horizontal pulling movements. I like to do this because I think it spreads out the stimulus on different muscle fibers better. Then we have close grip bench presses, which I count for triceps and chest, three sets of six to 10, and dumbbell lateral raises for the side delts, four sets of 10 to 15. Moving on to our second lower body day here, we've got deadlifts for the glutes and hamstrings, two sets of five to eight, and then front squats for the quads, three sets of six to 10. Then we've got leg extensions, three sets of 10 to 15, and leg curls, three sets of 10 to 15. We've got machine calf raises for the calves, three sets of 10 to 15, and weighted crunches for the abs, three sets of 10 to 15. Note that the way I list out the exercises doesn't have to be the way you follow them. Upper lower works really well for antagonistic supersets. So for example, supersetting your chest work with your back work and your bicep work with your tricep work works really well. Notice that I put most of my training here in the six to 12 rep range. I typically recommend having about two thirds of your training volume in the six to 12 rep range and about a third of your training volume outside of that rep range. We go outside the six to 12 rep range here when we do sets of fives or sets of 15s, for example. The other thing is I've set up a little bit of a daily undulating periodization where certain days are biased towards lower rep training and certain days are biased towards higher rep training. You can set this up for different muscle groups independently, but people often find that it helps them distribute their training stress better, and it might possibly help with strength adaptations. You'll see that I focus for the most part on free weight compound movements, because free weight compound movements are really efficient ways to train. You activate a lot of muscle groups and get a lot of stimulus out of them. So you'll see that I don't have any single joint work for the chest, like flies, or for the back, like straight arm pull downs. Remember that this is a low volume program well suited for the beginner. You'll wanna add in volume as needed to make sure you get the best progress. But this is well set up as a scaffolding for you to just add in more sets on the same exercises. All right, if you're thinking of following this program, I'll be sharing the full Excel file in my Facebook group. So if you wanna download the program, you can join my Facebook group, link in the description below and get it for free. All right, guys, now that I've shown you the program, I'll just mention a few modifications that you can try making as you progress. First of all, this program is set up to be very low volume, which is really good for beginners or people who respond to low volume training. Beginners typically don't need very much volume to progress just because their bodies are so sensitive to the training stimulus. But ultimately, you'll probably need more volume to continue to progress. So you'll want to add volume in as needed. Next, I mentioned earlier that one of the disadvantages of the upper lower split is that small muscle groups like biceps and side delts get fatigued at the end of their upper body days. The other thing is these small muscle groups tend to recover quickly so they can afford to be trained more often. 
this won't be so much of an issue in a program like this with low volumes, but as your volumes increase as you become more advanced, you should consider moving your bicep and side delt training onto your lower body days, or at least splitting it up and moving some onto your lower body days. I explain how to do this in my other upper lower program, which is suited for more intermediate or advanced athletes. This way you'll be able to train these muscle groups while they're fresh, and you'll also even out your upper and lower body day lengths. Lastly, when making changes to your program, you should see each muscle group as having its own program. Different muscle groups will require different volumes and rep ranges to progress optimally. So you'll want to manipulate these for your different muscle groups independently. If you're looking for a guide on how to customize your training program and run it over time, check out my book on programming for the upper lower split, which is going to be a great resource to have if you're using the upper lower split or any other split, especially if you're really focused on improving your programming. If you want to see some other free programs, check out this playlist where I walk you through some full science-based hypertrophy programs. Thanks for watching guys, make sure you subscribe if you haven't and we'll see you next time.